We're here with Captain Chris Robert of One Last Cast Charters in eastern Lake Bourne going after some speckled trout. Uh, it's mid-July. Captain Chris, uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the difference between a Carolina rig and a drop shot rig and why right now uh, you kind of prefer the drop shot rig uh, versus the Carolina. Well, the situations that we're dealing with right now, uh, the fish are feeding on top of these oyster reefs. And the reason I like to fish a drop shot rig versus a Carolina rig over the oyster reefs is because generally what happens is the, um, the, the bait that is coming through is suspended above the shells, the oyster shells, um, or the shell pads that we're fishing. Um, so, you know, they always say you want to match the hatch. All right, so when the shrimp and the bait fish are coming through over the top of those oyster reefs, you know, typically if they're not on the oyster reefs, when uh, a predator spots a bait fish and tries to dig into the mud, okay? Once you get on top of these shell pads like this, the shrimp or the fin fish can't dig into the mud to try to get away from the predators, you know, the trout and the redfish or anything else we're targeting. Um, so that's what actually attracts them to the that's what it actually attracts them to the um, to, shell to the shell pads um, because they know it's easy pickings once the bait fish comes across the shell pad because they have you know less chance of them escaping trying to dig into the mud so what you want to do is you know I like to fish a drop shot rig in that situation and it's only because you're gonna have that bait suspended a couple of feet above the shell pad also, your sinker is rubbing against the uh, shells, creating a little bit of vibration, getting the fish's attention. And then also, um, your bait's not dragging through the shells, getting caught on the shells, you're not getting snagged as much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of a drop shot rig. Um, it's real simple, easy to use. It takes you know about 15 seconds to do. All you wanna do is take your mono leader, as I have right here, you wanna take it and just make a loop in it. Just like this, just one loop, line to line, Right, and then you just want to take, tie a knot in it one time, tie a knot in it twice, boom, that's your sinker, the bottom part of your sinker. And then all you want to do is take it, and you got a one ounce. One ounce. I use a one ounce because that covers all varieties of fishing. You can fish a one ounce in five foot of water, you know, you can fish a one ounce in 25 foot of water with current. Don't you can kind of get away it. with it on, on all levels. So you just make the loop, take your sinker, stick it through, let me get that through, stick it through the sinker, pull the loop through, and then loop it back around the sinker and pull tight. She's done. Got it. All right, now then you want to take, I like to peel off about two foot of line because I like that bait about two foot so above. This, so you don't make yours as a separate piece. This is all part this of your main line. It's all one piece, okay. all main line. Right? And then I like to go about two foot up. You're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna make a, you're gonna loop it here, tie it once, tie it twice. And now your, your hook is gonna be suspended. Just like this, you're gonna push it through the, the, the eye hole of the hook and then loop it right back through and then pull down tight. Now, as you're looking at it, this is how your bait sitting right above the oyster shells or shell pad. You got a little current moving. The sinker's down here, rub it up against the bottom. Your bait suspended above it right here. It's just matching the hatch. It's what the fish sees on a natural occasion. Versus a Carolina rig, if we were fishing in, you know, muddy bottom, sandy bottom, you know, it'll work. You, we could get away with the Carolina rig, you know, picking it up in the current, kind of dropping it down in a little bit deeper water. What this rig here allows you to keep that bait suspended above the shell pad or any type of debris that you're fishing, you know, and keep that keep that bait above it as if it's matching the hatch where it can't get away down into the shell pads. Captain Chris Robert, one last cast charters and the drop shot rig.